welcome to yeah the marketing department's idea of how to write dev blogs they're not doing dev blogs anymore are they you know news okay so this is not the black ops update it is the oh by the way we're boosting max targets on the Edencom by double <laughs> the group jump is uh they allowed lower fuel costs and synchronized jumping they initiated the covert ops uh you know the exploration stuff uh, to be a bit more interesting with their ridiculous capacitor thing that i think is made more out of ignorance uh, than any intended effect really beyond what they yeah beyond ignorance more low slot that's kind of cool um yeah this whoa, holy crap and this by the way you're like oh wow 650 percent that's that looks awesome where is it where is it where is it where is it uh yes here it is oh <gasps> my god so exciting right and you're like, wow, that's like, wow, and amazing. It's it's only 120. Uh, what is it? 100. And, it's a uh, it's 125 percent. That's that's like, oh wow, you can go a thousand meters per second. No, it's a roll bonus now, so it's a nerf. <laughs> so yeah, it is not the oh my god, amazing, blow your mind. And they're actually nerfing the uh, the redeemer. Yeah, your rate of fire bonus is doubled, but it's only 5% more, and then you lose one target, <laughs> target hard point. Lol. Yeah, pr pretty funny. I, I don't, I just, the words fail me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just. Yeah. Interesting. Um this doubles my interest in using the Edencom ships and increases its um, viability by probably a factor of 10. Uh, but the problem is you're you're timesing 10 and double by zero. I have, there's no role and there's no interest in using Edencom. Why? I've said it before during these, I was testing on Singularity for uh, helping defend my upwell. Should I warp in for um, 3 million isk griffins with ECM to really ir irritate the Lodgy? Or I could throw four really expensive blingy um, pinatas at high sec pirates who are war decking me who are instantly going to switch targets to something they can probably mjd to uh and the benefit would be to mildly confuse their logi <laughs> hmm which which one do you think i'd pick oh, i don't know yeah so um the roll it doubles their max targets but it's like okay that's 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 awesome it's really cool uh it makes the possibility of using them in combat more viable but for me it, it's just it's interesting but it's like okay that's that's interesting um, if you're fielding these expensive things against 10 targets, it's like, okay, so can you use these in missions now? That would be something I'm sure that, uh, my more popular the YouTube creator community fellows will be definitely inter interested in, I'm sure. Um, I forget the, who's specifically into this. Uh, I could probably hazard a guess, 
about their names. I haven't been watching YouTube creators for a while, so I've, names have slipped my mind. But yeah, definitely they'd be interested, so definitely look them up. As a bonus, if you're still listening, I am... Oh yeah, that was a that was a really bizarre fit I was using for. Uh, I was going to try to gas mine using prospects and um, and jumping them to low sec using this method, um, but it it didn't pan out. The gas mining is just completely useless in Empire Space. Okay. Yeah, as a bonus. For those still listening, the uh, the CEO of my Omnon Corp has now got the ability to um, yeah to uh, to make an alliance, and I'll be interested in trying to theorycraft how best to create an alliance. Uh, which character, um, which, um, you know, because if you go to the Exidium and you go attributes, uh, created by, and I'd like to, I'd like to choose a probably, um, Major Freak, because that's, that's my YouTube handle, right? So I'd like to use Major Freak. Uh, to create the alliance. Um, oh, right. I, duh. Um, Minor Freak has to create it, so at least I've got at least the, the focus. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm happy I trained up Minor Freak because it's, it's gonna have his name in it, um, from the beginning in the attributes. And created by corporation, probably Ordo Ministorum. Um, it's it's been my corporation forever. I, I'll think about using another corporation, possibly. I don't know the benefits, you know, of having the. Maybe I'll I'll move Minor Freak to a holding corp in order to create the alliance. You know, to, in order to have that alliance, um, that corporation name in, but I, I don't know the benefits for, or the you know the how best manipulate that. I don't know yet. Probably have to. Um, I don't know. Um, I'll probably uh, wait till the the server. Uh, the mirror on Singularity and test it out there. Maybe I'll hold off making my corporate alliance until I can do it on the test server and just get a feel for it. Uh, with you know, because it's a mirror, it'll have this have the feel of tranquility. I, I've I've switched it up too much on Singularity currently to actually <laughs> actually get a feel for it. It's a fantasy land on uh, Singularity right now, sissy. Anyways, that's that. Um, yeah, interesting stuff. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting if people start fielding Edencom ships more and have them, you know, people saying, hey, this, there's a role or say for a mission sh boat because yeah, 10 targets. That would make, if you'd say, went into a, a mission like level three or four i don't know um how you could get the use out of it but it, it would sound interesting and some like some because it doubles your dps right so it would make say going see the the hunt you could go in with the light eden calm and be able to target up to 10 and the, the hunt um, comes around every spring. It, um, their rats come in at orbit you really close, right? So you should have enough to damage a bunch of them at a time. It'd be interesting. 
Uh, but yeah, the, um, the DPS compared to, say, the worms I have, um, would it be, would it be comparable? I don't think so. Um, let's find Major Free Care. I think it's this one. It's kind of a cool sound, isn't it? The, the reverberating, the launch menu, uh, music. Elevator music. <laughs> Alright, there we go. He's got my worms, pretty sure. If I recall correctly. Yeah, no, it it it, it it's interesting because it, it, it gives you hope that the Econcom ships might be viable now for some kind of role. <laughs> or lol. worm yeah this is the one i use for uh a really fun event the, probably one of the very very few events that ccp does that i even bother to notice um so i don't whoops yeah, put these in all right so 200 dps sustained um, could you get, if you've got 10 targets, you need 20, 21 DPS sustained for, and that sounds doable. It's very interesting. Um, yeah, it might actually make Edencom ships competitive in PV PVE situations uh, and might make it attractive to PVPers, but yeah, I mean, Jesus, uh, let's go check out the cost of them in uh, Cheetah. They the cost of them, I don't think would rise. They're already ridiculous, but. They might become more popular, especially the 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 um the smaller, smaller one. Connecting. Let's check it out. I forget the name of them. I know Thunderchild is the battleship. Stormbringer is the battlecruiser cruiser size. Oh yeah, might as well check the plex prices because they are jumping. It's interesting. All right, yeah. I'm sorry for not doing the um, state of the union. It's just uh, maybe in another year it, it would be interesting to get another uh, e year of view, but not this year. Just. CCP can go F itself. Okay, um, just not interested. Um, hardly playing the game anymore. Just coming back to do... Okay, the spam. Too bad we can't block Jita. I... Just... Uh, never mind. I probably have a laundry list of stuff CCP needs to get done. Yeah, and congratulations. Ten years after uh, the Summer of Rage. I'm sure they won't even acknowledge it cowards utter cowards okay so um eating com ships i think it was the frigate yeah the frigate events i think it's no wait faction isn't it navy right yes skybreaker aha whoa Okay, that's... <laughs> okay, let's... Yeah, let's... So it's stable around... Yeah, this is the problem with... It's kind of broken, isn't it? Sorry. Hope... Yeah, damn it. Hopefully, uh... It'll be unbroken in a wee bit. Um... 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Has it been a year since it got introduced? It might have been interesting. But yeah, I hate when the market gets broken. I try my best to unscrew it by toggling off a whole bunch of stuff. But yeah, sometimes it, it just breaks and you can't do anything about it. People used to do that with Tritanium all the time until I learned to manipulate those settings. All right. So yeah, 73 million. Huh. 73 million. Whoa. Interesting. All right. Well, let's let's check it out. Uh, I think this character doesn't have the skills for this. On Singularity, he does. She does, but... <coughs> Hermits. Eh, whatever. We'll, we'll plug it in and see what happens. Um, possibly give it to... I don't know which character has more skills in it, so... Meh, whatever. Who cares, right? We'll just... This is just ballpark stuff. Rory modules. Uh, Darts and launchers. Board on projector. Um, apparently... No, wait, that's for... I'm thinking of Triglavian. Triglavian faction is actually better than Tech 2. Oh, and I don't have the skill. Okay, never mind. Of course I don't. Alright. Uh, the optimal range from twelve. Okay, that's that high DPS one. We've already got forty six. So we've got even without low slot, we have double over double the DPS sustained if we hit all ten targets. Uh, compared to a worm, so it's pretty cool. Um, and I hardly have any skills. Let's see now. I've got level three Borton projector, and I probably don't have any of the uh, the other skills. I might probably don't. Hmm. Um, 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 um. Tarts and launchers, Vorton weapon upgrades, uh, Vorton tuning. I'll just pretend I'm going to shove all three of them in there just for the lulls. Uh, so that is barely interesting. It would be very interesting if you had something like this along with your missioner ship just a gank close in frigates and it could do a spectacular job of it because if you really need it and there's a ton of them and they're all pointing you this might actually help but it's survivability is it going to be able to survive that's the thing i mean is it are rats going to target this over your battleship, say your your I don't know, paladin or something, you know. And that's the thing, isn't it? Um, would it survive? It's got a pretty decent resist pattern there, so kind of like that. Um, and it's small. Uh. I wonder if I could use Hmm. See if I if I brought in say one of the um say the Kaldari, I wonder if it has only well, it's using a it's using a shield remote wrap on my larger ship to wrap my skybreaker so then i just have oh i probably don't have the power no i don't 
God, look at that. No. Okay. Okay. There's that. And then, oops. Okay, 2111. 11 to play with. Most likely. Uh. Nope, not shield or charger. Um, uh, little shield. Nope. Um, crap. Uh, boost amplifiers. There is. I, I don't play. So yeah, you could probably. I'm sure if we played around with the CPU, we could probably get you know the with the meta and stuff, um, and the faction and stuff. Probably get that. Definitely, you know. Eh, maybe not. <laughs> That's a lot of CPU. But yeah. Um fleets in 30 seconds. Oh, right, because of... No. 30 seconds for that. Hmm, didn't notice that. Yeah, we're not looking good here. We probably have to go with a pith. And 73 million hull, might as well, right? Uh, probably go with a capacitor booster. That's her only option right now. No, obviously not. Um, yeah. And have two of them? What do you think? Yeah, yeah, but screw around with the CPU for sure. Um, this is the first... I, I'm not even thinking of its role yet, just helping a mission or ship fend off frigates without, you know, losing its drones, right? Because rats love to shoot drones. Charge it so... What do you think? Oh, okay, 45, all right. 50, uh, 75... Uh, Okay, and never mind. Um, 100. One minute. 150. One fifty. Okay, so one fifty we're stable. Two of them. Okay. Okay. And I've got 30 seconds. Depletes in 30 seconds. And this will easily... I'm sure it's like, what, 12 seconds to... Re or what is it? Yeah. No, that's for duration. What's the uh, reload time? 10 seconds. Okay, fine. That's perfect. Yeah, so that does it. That's stable. Play around with the CPU for sure. Um... And of course, this would be shield resistances, or maybe uh, I don't typically play with shields, so I'm a bit hesitant. Um, let's see. Uh, um, so, wait, give me a sec. Shield boost rate, 34. That doesn't look good. Okay, so we're definitely going to go for thermal. EM. And then... Where's the... There it is. Uh, defense... What is it? Defense operational. Okay, there we go. 43. So we got... Yeah, just look at that, eh? I do not know. Hmm... Not 
obviously we'd go with uh, it's quite cheap actually uh, compared um Where's the non-insanely expensive one? So this is this will double the cost of your hull, of course. But you know, okay. So the non-insane ones <laughs> are this one or this one. Yeah. So we've got Pitsum C type. So you got the C types. And you probably shove the C type in there. I'll bet you'll get some performance increase. 41. So effectively, you've added a built in rig to that. Um, could you now put. I doubt it. But could you now put the rig in? for defense operational what do you think yes you can okay so that's very nice actually but it's it, you just effectively doubled the cost so it's like what 150 million at least oh wow okay sorry i misspoke why is it so What's the expense? Probably detect two stuff for the four ton thing. Um, yeah, see? That's another. You've tripled cost of it. Did I put a just in B type? Whoopsie, my bad. You might actually have to do it. Let's check it out. Forty-three seconds. Okay, gist him. There we go. No, wait. What? Okay, gist him. See type. Blah blah blah. There we go. Okay, that's better. Okay, so gist him. C type, right? Gist him. C type. We got forty-eight hit points per second, which is not the greatest, but it's it's acceptable for a frigate, I think. So there you go. That's pretty close, actually. Um, oh. I wonder if the... Never mind, this is just for ballpark. Okay. Be interested in checking this out. Be very interested. I'll post it in the description, by the way. I don't know. Um, 2,000. And charges. So you don't have much, but you got it when you need it. There we go. And I, I'll just show the... I don't think I need to. Yeah, it's... Uh, capacitor management. I don't think that's going to really have an effect here because you've got cap boosters. Object clipboard. Dern. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully that was informative. And hopefully I didn't make too many mistakes. <laughs> yeah, unlike that bloody um, that mobile observatory when I first looked at it. Yeah, I had a few videos for that one. I got more views from the first two, unfortunately, than the second. <laughs>